What is going on YouTube? Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode. I am in the middle of the street. I'm also at Walmart today and the reason why I'm at Walmart is because we're gonna be doing something that I've been thinking about doing for a long time. Now we've all seen those videos of budget fishing combos for under 100 bucks, stuff like that. Summer's coming up, lots of people are gonna be coming on vacation to Florida to fish. And in general, I'm a budget angler. I don't have a lot of money to spend on fishing items. So that's why we're gonna come to Walmart today and we're gonna see what is the best setup that you can get in Walmart, in any Walmart, for under $100, folks. That's right, you heard that right. So we are going to go inside this Walmart to the fishing section, outdoor section, and we're gonna look around and see what is the best combo for our money. Before we get into the action, guys, go ahead and give this video a good old thumbs up. Comment below what you wanna see next, and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload but guys without further ado let's hop inside walmart and see what is the best bang for our buck for under 100 bucks Hi guys, this is the best set you can get videos over 2477 this is a tsunami spear videos over <laughs> Just kidding guys, we are just getting started here as you can see I'm surrounded by sporting goods fishing is this it? No, this can't be it. There has to be more. Wow, maybe I should not have came to the biggest Walmart in Florida because their fishing stuff is literally all over the place. And we're going to make do with what we have to work with. But guys, I'm going to do my best to give you the best combo under $100. So bear with me and let's get right to it. So we're just walking along. We got our camping stuff here. And uh, oh, okay. We got some DOA cows. These don't really belong here, but... Cool. These are these are all good baits. Good saltwater paddle tails. You got some nice flukes, pearl flukes. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. Now this right here is a really good rod for finesse bass fishing. When you're just in close corners, you know, you need to be very precise with your cast. This is the best setup to do it. This is like a uh, 15 foot ugly stick right here. Just kidding. That was just a joke. Don't take me seriously. And nothing here calls to me. So let's keep on going. Okay, this is pretty cool. So this bluegill topwater lure right here is $2.96. Pretty cool find. Let me know, guys, if you want me to do a video on this. I, I think I'm actually going to buy this. This is pretty cool. I've never seen this before. Not bad for $2.96. This company over here has lots of decent baits. They have lipless crank baits, little jerk baits right there. This looks like it would do really good for some peacock bass. It's only $1.47. So uh, I might pick this up as well. $1.94. Four cent topwater frogs and there's just tons and tons of them here definitely some good stuff possibly for some snakeheads or who knows little crankbait right there only a dollar 47 everything here is like under two dollars like topwater lipless crankbaits crankbaits inline spinners you can never go wrong with the inline spinner tons and tons of good stuff i know that's a little bit off topic but those were some really cool baits that i've never seen i mean i've never seen this bait this was like a 15 dollar bait usually off brand of course but this is only two bucks i mean you can't beat that so let me know if you guys want me to come back here and do a budget fishing lure challenge or something of that nature because i think that'd be a pretty cool thing to do anyways let's go hop over there and see if we can find a good fishing rod for under 100 bucks oh, wow that looks really good too awesome all right guys so i set three rods aside that i think Personally, I would buy So the first one that we're gonna start with I've actually owned one of these a long time ago When I used to live in Miami and I just started out fishing This is one of my first peacock bass rod and I've loved it Obviously, they've done some changes to it since then Mine is not the newest version of this This thing has stainless steel guides and it's also Missing a tip I might ask them if I can get a good deal on this Might swipe that for 10-15 bucks if they have the ability to go for that Don't be afraid to ask guys Do not be afraid to ask Next up, this is a pen squadron rod this thing right here is awesome. Penn is a very good company. I don't really fish too much of their stuff. My dad lives by it. I mean, only Penn. Since I was a little kid, I've been fishing Penn in saltwater, freshwater. So I've used their stuff. I've caught big snapper on it, big peacock, all that good stuff. You can't go wrong with the Penn Squadron too. And I literally see these at every single Walmart that I go to. We'll get a price on that in just a minute. Last up, this is something that I see literally in every single Walmart. This is an ugly stick inshore select. This rod, I see it everywhere. Every single Walmart that I go to. If you're on vacation and you're only down here for a few weeks or whatever the case may be, it is definitely worth it to buy one of these. If they have a two piece, I would recommend that because then you could take it home. But I think this is probably like a $50 rod. Worst case, scenario you bring a reel from home put it on this and throw this rod away when you're done with it we're gonna get a price on all three of these and then we're gonna go look at the reels 
All right guys, we are at the reel section. I'm gonna tell you this one time. I will stand by this no matter what. There's two reels that I see in every single Walmart that I go to that I would buy in a heartbeat. First one is $70. It is a Pen Fierce 2. I've owned these reels before. They're really good. My dad has a bunch of them. I would definitely recommend getting one of those if you're down here. The next reel I would get, I have one at home in the 1000 size. I've actually caught my personal best peacock bass on the 1000. That video is right here if you wanna see that. The Shimano Sedona, that is a $30 reel and it's pretty good. All you really need to do is get some backing on there. I recommend Power Pro Braid. I think it's $15 a spool at Walmart and you'll be good to go. And of course, you can pair it with any of the three rods that I told you about today. No workers are around me right now, so I'm going to try to find someone so we can get a price check. Alright guys, so my buddy Alex just ran into me. Where are you from, bro? I'm from Missouri, Kansas City. Okay, so he came up to me and asked me if I'm from around here and uh, basically to plug him up with some good lures. I'm even going to hook him up with some fishing spots. So, let's get right to it. So let's do some bass. Can't go wrong with some bass. They're spawning right now. How much are you willing to spend? Uh, like 20 bucks. 20, okay, 20 bucks. Maybe 30. I was actually looking at these lures right here because they're only $1.94. Oh yeah, definitely get this for sure. Natural topwater frog, $1.94, bro. Can't beat that. We got a little jerk bait right here. Can't go wrong with that. Another dollar forty-seven. Gotta get some soft plastic stuff. Okay, you cannot go wrong with some worms. Okay. Can't go wrong with the trick worm, watermelon red. This is three dollars and seventy-eight cents. So there you go, bro. Now we need some hooks for that. Some weedless worm hooks. Damn, do they have any hooks around here? Always gotta get a white chatter bait, no matter what. $4.96 for that. I definitely would recommend spending some good money on hooks because you may bend out on a good fish. You'll be pissed. These look pretty decent right here. I would get these $3.72. Now let's get some weights. We don't need all of these. We need some of these, but not all of those. That's the setup you're gonna get. This is exactly what you want for bass, bro. Right. I'm just kidding, dude. That is not, that is not prime. <laughs> That's what you want, but these are too heavy. So I guess we're gonna have to go with good old split shot and just clamp some of those. We gotta get some swim baits too, and I think you're gonna be all set. There you go, sir. You got some Gambler, Big Easy's, White Lightning. Are you fine with this rod? Cause this is, yeah. if you're gonna be bass fishing, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, so let's go figure this out. I would just send it with this, man. All right, guys, so Alex and I plugged him up with the juice. Let's run through this real quick. White chatter bait. You got a little jerk bait minnow right here. You got topwater frog. Zoom trick worms, watermelon red. Can never go wrong with the big easy. Gambler lures, white lightning. We got some weedless worm hooks right here. Out of bullet weight, so we're gonna have to improvise with some split shots. And for the setup, for the pull, this is gonna do it. You got a two-piece Zebco. Man, this cannot be more than 30 bucks. Now I'm gonna hook him up off camera with some good spots. Then we're gonna get back to the best rod that we can get, so stay tuned. All right, guys, that was so crazy. Literally just in the middle of filming, some dude came up to me. He's like, hey, are you from around here? I need help. I don't know what to get. I don't know where to fish. So I took care of him. Anyway, three rods lined up right behind me. I have prices for all three. So we're going to go ahead. So we're going to do the math right now. The most expensive rod here is the ugly stick. So we're going to take a look at that right now. Price on this is $49.99. So 50 bucks and you get a decent rod. I mean, my dad is a firm believer in the ugly stick. The only rod he owns is ugly stick. And I've been fishing ugly stick since I was. A little kid not sponsored or anything like that But I know that these are in every single Walmart probably in the country and this is a decent rod It's a decent inshore rod. You can use it for fresh water salt water Lots of people are coming to Florida on vacation this summer So if you are coming to Florida, this is a rod I would recommend from experience now the second rod that I was looking at This is the pen squall and I think out of all three. This is the one I would buy this is $34.99 and it's pretty darn good. It has really good action probably a Medium fast tip, not too bad. I mean, pretty sensitive tip. This would be a really good top water frog rod. All around, I say this is my personal favorite. My dad and I have been fishing pen since I was a little kid, offshore, inshore, freshwater, saltwater, peacock bass, a mangrove snapper. I've caught a lot of fish with pens and ugly sticks both. Now the third rod, and don't count it out because it is not a bad rod. I've owned this rod before. When I just started peacock bass fishing, I bought this actually at Walmart in Miami. I've caught some big fish on this rod right here. Another person that I remember had this rod from a long time ago on Instagram is my friend Coastal Kristen. The shirt I'm wearing is actually made by her. So guys, go ahead, check her out. She's linked in the description below. The Lightning Rod Shock is a decent rod. It is not bad. So the price on that rod right there is $39.99. The Shakespeare Ugly Stick Inshore Select. 
Deluxe. This is priced at $49.99, 50 bucks. Second most expensive is the Berkley Lightning Rod Shop. This is $39.99. And then my personal favorite, and what I would recommend you to get, this is the Pen Squadron 2. This is $34.99, and it is probably the best rod available in Walmart. All right, guys, so this is the reel I was telling you about. This is the Pen Fear 2. This is a 6,000. So this is a little bit big. I believe they have some smaller sizes back there, though. This is priced at $69.96, so $70. And this is a very decent reel if you want a pair of any of the rods that I showed you guys. But I recommend, if you're coming down to Florida, the most versatile reel that you can get to match with any of those three rods that I showed you. This is the Shimano Sienna 4000. This is priced at $29. 96 cents. 30 dollars you can get a really decent reel i have the same reel in the 1000 size i caught my biggest peacock bass on it i use this thing every time i go freshwater fishing it is a super solid reel i've had it for at least two to three years and you can put that reel on any of these three rods that i showed you and it would be under 100 dollars. so right there you have it that is what i would do if you're coming down to florida on vacation or looking for a cheap setup in any walmart those are all versatile setups for inshore offshore salt water fresh water all right guys so we are outside of walmart right now trying to get away from the wind and you have it right there those are the three setups i would buy for under a hundred dollars if you enjoyed this video or you want me to do some similar videos like this comment below and i'll definitely do it guys that's it for the video so go ahead drop a good old thumbs up on the video comment below what you want to see next don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you get notified when I upload on YouTube. But guys, that's it for the video. And until the next time, keep on fishing.